everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and what do I have for you today well I have a package right here from a company called new craft day and what is new craft day new craft day has um, a site that sells diamond paintings among uh, other things I believe I haven't gotten to really uh, navigate through the site um, all that much. I went through and I picked a diamond painting. They asked me to do that. They've sent it to me for a review for you. I love doing diamond paintings. Have you tried it? If you haven't tried it, you really should. It's very relaxing and fun to do and you end up with a really neat piece of uh, art when you're done. And it's not difficult. Um, anyways, it came in this package. So it's packaged nicely. And inside of that bubble package, we have the actual diamond painting that I chose. So it is rolled up like this, but don't worry. Um, it will flatten out and I'll show you how to do that. So, oh, this is gonna be nice. That's a big one. All right, so first of all, it comes with the tray to sort the diamonds. You put your color diamonds in there and you work from this and I'll show you about that. It's got the wax, which is the red part that helps the diamonds stick to the, the pin part, which is a right sheer. And um, you stick them on. It's kind of like painting by numbers, but with uh, like rhinestones. So this one is a round drill or round diamond painting and there's all the beautiful colors in here look at those shimmer and glisten really nice quality diamonds okay let's look at the picture i chose it's gonna be a little hard for you to see all at once there's a white kitty cat laying on top of the piano with a black kitty cat playing the piano and then down here are white and black kittens. And who do they remind you of, guys? They look like my cats, right? I have a solid white cat, a solid black cat. And then I have various white and black or black and white cats. So, yeah, looks like my kitty cats. That's why I chose this one. Really nice uh, printing on this. Um, so you can really tell what it's going to look like. There's candles up here glowing and all of that. Anyways, it's too big for me to hold up all at once, but that's okay because we're not working on it all at once. I like to work from the top down. I know some people like to work from the uh, bottom up, um, but like I said, we can make this lay flat and let me show you all about that and let me show you how to do a diamond painting. I'm going to uh, pause you here and readjust my camera. Okay, so I wish I had a little better lighting out here. Um, so something you can peel your um, plastic down and then lay it back down and push it and it flattens out the painting quite a lot. And of course, the more you work with it, the more it's gonna flatten out, okay? See how it's not as curled up? So anyways, I like to work in one area at a time. So I will expose, oh, just, I don't know, two or three, like three inches or so. And I will, there's the collar key on this side that tells you, you know, based on your little squares here, the little squares have a letter inside of them and uh, they're collared as well. And this tells you, um, what color it is in your diamond drills. So I'm going to start with the first uh, number one, which is O, because that's where it starts in the corner here. And that's color 150. Let's find it in these little packets. Right there. I don't really, really like pulling it apart because it could rip and then you could have diamonds go everywhere. So I like to cut them apart instead. Get out our little green tray 
and our wax and one of our pens or tools or whatever they like to call them. I just snip off the corner because I don't want to lose all my diamonds. And I pour a good bit into it. And then you shake the tray back and forth very gently. And that helps to get the diamonds to lay with the faceted side up. Flat side down, faceted side up. And then you take your wax and you peel back the plastic from it just a little bit on the corner and you take your little tool and it's got like a like a hole there Let's see if you can see it in the end I don't know if you can see it I hope you can but there's like a little hole there and you just press that into the wax close to the corner and it gives you a little bead of wax inside of there so now the inside of it is pink don't know if you can tell but now the inside of it is pink and this is a challenge to do with cats but here we go I pick up one little diamond drill and I just put it over the whole that square that has corresponding color number it's very quick I will do a little section and then I will show you what it looks like with the diamonds on it. The back the backing of this canvas has a uh, tacky like glue on it and it holds those diamond drills that's what they call them on to the canvas see plastic back over it see those see how easy that goes on I'm gonna do a few more and I'll be back well I'm gonna do a few more where you can see me I gotta take my glasses off so I can get real close to the canvas so I can see Oof. where I'm putting these oh no I'm sticking We're moving down this side just a little bit. I'm not doing all of this color at once. I'm just doing all of this color in kind of a small area. And then I will move down the canvas. And I will do all the, you know, area. I like to do all across the area so far down and then I then I go down um, the canvas and I work again and do all the colors. That's just how I like to do it. Some people I think like to do one color at a time. The problem I find with that is that sometimes the plastic doesn't stick down real well uh, because you've got a lot of areas done all over and then you can get dust and dirt on your um, adhesive and then your diamond drills don't stick as well. So that's why I like to keep mine covered and just do a section at a time. And do the whole thing, all the different colors, and then it doesn't matter that the plastic doesn't stick to it anymore. Because you're not having, you know, a problem with uh, having to keep your adhesive sticky. Because it's already got all the uh, diamond drills stuck to it. I really like doing this a lot. I've done several. I can even do this sitting in my bed if it's one of the smaller canvases on a small lap table when I'm not feeling well. That's, you know, this is a really nice uh, craft that you can do just about anywhere. Just don't get too many. I do. I suggest that you do not get more than one color of diamond drills out at a time if you have little kids or pets, because, or if you're clumsy like me, because you could end up with uh, 
your diamond drills to build. I've done that thinking I could do several colors at once and add extra trays. And I dumped them out everywhere. And that was a nightmare to um, sort those collars out. So now I just work one collar at a time. I find that it's a lot better for me than having to clean them up and sort them and then hope I have enough diamonds to finish my painting because you're never going to find all those little things. Very easy to lose when you dump it. And I guarantee you eventually you will dump some. I think everybody does. And the good news is they generally send you quite a little bit extra of each color. So, I mean, you don't want it to happen, but don't, don't get too nervous about finding every single one. When you find that your um, tool is not picking up your diamonds as easily, go back and uh, get some more of your wax. And it's good to go again. Some people have said that if you get um, like the poster tack stuff that you get that looks like a, like a gray putty that you use to hang up posters. Some people swear by that and say that it's better than the red wax. Uh, I tried it. I didn't like it. It didn't work very well for me. Some people swear by it, so I'm sure it's personal preference. I, I like the wax. As you can see, it, um, it moves pretty quick. I mean, I'm, I'm back and forth putting those diamonds on pretty quickly, I think. And I try, I don't work, you know, particularly fast. I don't, the idea isn't to, you know, be a speed demon and see how fast you can do it. The idea is to relax and have a good time. And so I just, you know, slow and steady wins the race. And that's, that's how I do it. I wanted to show you an area that I had, you know, a few done. And then I will do some more of it off camera and we'll look at it again when I get more of it done. And did I get them all in this little area? Probably not, but good enough to show you guys. I've done quite a little bit. I did all of these in this area here, in this little corner up there, just while I was talking to you and not moving particularly fast. Can you see them? You see them glistening and shining? They're sort of a maroon color. But I'm gonna do some more and I'll be back with you in just a minute. Guys, look how realistic that diamond painting looks. Doesn't it? It, 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 it moves. All right, get off the painting, please. Get off the painting. Thankfully, I have the plastic covering it, or you would have cat hair in the adhesive. I've got most of the diamond painting completed down to here. Most of, I say, because I do have... Um, it, at least one collar here that I don't have done yet, but I just want you, I'm going to pull this back now that there's not a cat laying on it so that you can see the quality of this diamond painting. Um, it's really, really nice guys. Really nice. Can you, I hope that it's showing on camera. Um, let's, let's try to zoom in a little bit. Look at that white cat. Look at the candles glowing, the different colors showing how it's, you know, really bright. And then, yeah, I love that. The center of it, how it's, um, and that cat just, that looks a lot like sugar, doesn't it? So I love it. I love the pink ears. Um, I was afraid that you know, the more detailed the picture, the um, less you can tell what it is when you put, put the diamonds on. If you've done a diamond painting and if you bought one that was, let me, now that we've seen it, let me, 
uh, adjust my camera. Okay, the more, if, if you have ever done diamond paintings at all, uh, and you found one that was just incredible, and you thought, man, I really have to have that one. Like, I wanted to do one for my mom that was of a, um, what's his name, Kincaid. Um, last name's Kin Kincaid. What was his first name? Anyways, my, my mind um, of a beautiful cottage and so all the flowers and everything. And when I got it and I worked on it for hours and hours, the more I did the painting, the less it looked like the picture. I don't know if you have had that experience or not. I have. And the problem is that the, the painting itself was too small. The smaller the picture, the less detail you can have, or it's so pixelated that you can't tell what it is. This is a really nice size for the painting that I'm doing. And I was worried because I didn't know uh, before, you know, sight unseen, I had no idea if it was going to be large enough. I didn't know if they printed it in a way that the details, if you were going to tell what it was supposed to be, or if the details were going to be lost in just a bunch of colored diamonds. Theirs is wonderful. But again, make sure, even if you buy from them, that you're buying a large enough canvas for the amount of detail in the picture. If it's something that's not real detailed, you can get away with a smaller picture. And of course, the larger it is, the more diamonds and all of that, the more it's going to cost. But you, you want to be happy. You're going to put hours and hours and hours into it. You want to be happy with the end result. I think that this company, you're going to be happy with the end result. And, uh, I can't wait to get this finished. I wish I could have finished it for you so you could have seen it all in this video. But I, I don't have that many hours. I, you know, I want to get this up in a timely manner so that the company, otherwise, you know, they're going to be waiting a very long time for this video to go up. Um, this took me three days to get this much done. I am in love with this painting. I cannot wait to get it finished. Especially, could there be a more perfect diamond painting for me? No, because it's almost like my own cats. And I, you know, because there you, you would have Sugar playing the piano, piano. You would have Mr. Nubbins, except for Mr. Nubbins has a short tail. And down there, if they would have had kittens together, would definitely, you know, that would be their kitty cats. And I have two kitty cats that are uh, white and black, like the one there, the second one. Uh, this one here. And then, um, or this one on this end. And then I have a tuxedo cat, and I have one that is has a split half white and half black face. And she's white and black all over her body. So, this, like, this is like my kitty cats on a canvas. Look at that, guys. Look at it glisten and sparkle and shine. It makes those candles look so realistic, doesn't it? And that cat, isn't she beautiful? So, I can't wait to get it finished. I will eventually, in the future, pull it out finished and just say, hey guys, here's that diamond painting uh, finished for you. But that will be probably a couple of weeks from now. And um, and I'm sorry about that. But I don't want this company to keep waiting for their video to go up. Because they did send this to me for review. And, oh, I'm having so much fun working on it. it is, I'm, I love it. I do. And I haven't done a diamond painting in quite a little while. And um, now I'm remembering what it was that I really liked about diamond painting in the first place. And that is just how relaxing it really is. I mean, you just get in the zone. You're just putting those diamonds in, putting those diamonds in, just, and you're in the zone. And 
I don't know. And then you see your picture coming to life. It's really, really a fun, relaxing project to do. So if you haven't ever wanted to, or if you haven't done one and you've always wanted to, check them out. And uh, the link will be in the description. If you've done them and you've been dissatisfied with the end result, try this company out because of all the companies, uh, diamond paintings I've done, this one to me is the best. Anyways, as always, I was saying before my battery died, if you have been dissatisfied and you stop doing diamond paintings, you should really give this company's diamond paintings a try. Um, they're really reasonably priced and they are really nice quality. And as you can see, you can see what you know, this is a very detailed picture, and yes, it's large, but you can certainly tell what it is. Um, and it's beautiful. So, um, I'm going to try to get this finished, as I said, in the next couple of weeks, and I will do a very fast video and put it up for you and link to the company again so that you, um, so that you can see that it keeps going and the quality stays just as nice. I know it's going to because I can see it and I can see what it's going to look like and I can't wait to get it done. Thank you so much New Craft Day for sending me this uh, beautiful diamond painting for review and let me know guys what do you think? What do you think of it so far? And um, what do you think? Are you surprised that I picked that one? I am surprised that they had one that so perfectly fit me. <laughs> um, maybe that's why they contacted me. What do you think? Anyways, guys, with that, please give me a big old thumbs up because, you know, that would really help my channel. And please, please subscribe to my channel. And please share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well. And thank you so much for watching and for listening to me babble. And I'll see you again soon in another video. Bye, guys.